Hello, and today we will be making a file copier and a mover in Visual Basic. First of all, what you're going to want to do, take a button, drag it there. Uh, in this part of uh, this, I'm only going to be doing copying files, but go to my other... Uh, um, uh, the next version will have copying and moving, then only moving. So, what you're going to do next is make a label, um, a text box, sorry. Um, make it that big, then make a button. There we go. Uh, put its text as dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Okay, so three dots. Uh, make it smaller, make it as small as it possibly can fit into a button for three dots. Now this isn't exact, but it doesn't matter right now. I'm in a matter of a hurry, so uh, now I'll just resize that. I won't actually add any labels right now. I'm just going to explain to you what this is. This text box will have the parent folder directory, so which file you want. And the uh, next one will have this one. will have... Uh, where you want it to be copied to yeah so now this one that I'm making right now no not this not code control click okay so this one will contain the file name the new file name and this one will contain the parent folder, um, uh, the parent folder's extension. So go to dialogs, get an open file dialog, a folder browser dialog. Go to this button, open file dialog one dot show dialog, text box one dot text equals open file dialog one dot file name okay so then go to your design go to this button then you're gonna say open file di wait not open file dialog folder browser dialog one dot show dialog text box 2 dot text equals open file dialog not open file folder browser dialog one dot selected path okay so go back to your design now comes the real actual coding so what you're going to want to do System dot io dot file dot copy bracket text box one dot text comma text box two dot text ampersand then what you're gonna want to do uh, since text box one dot text has the name for the file put a slash in ampersand text box three dot text ampersand in quotes a dot ampersand text box four dot text msg box file copy let's test it out first of all gonna click computer Let's just go into my C drive right here and then I'm just I just already made an extra folder. I have this document here. I want to copy it to my documents. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna debug this app so called. Click that. Uh, 
Uh, welcome to the second part of this video. Uh, here I have entered lots of code. Uh, we've entered lots of code in from last part. Now we're going to be testing it, so we'll debug it. As I told you last time, I had a directory, so I'm going to go to it. I'm going to click it and click open. Now here I'm going to put txt since you can see this txt excluding the dot because uh, the computer puts it in for us. Uh, click that. Click libraries, documents. Yeah, my documents. Okay. Now let's save it there. So now the file name, you can name it anything. Tenaze test. Yeah, I think that's good. Copy. File copied. Let's see if it really copied it. Let me go to computer. Documents. There we go, time we test this here. Has everything here. And you can actually also change the, the, uh, you can change this from, let's say, txt to dot bat. You can change that to bat and you change its name. Handmaze TTS. So then when I click copy, file copied. And when I go to my documents, see, I've actually got a Windows batch file here. So there. And then it actually does the codes I entered to it. So hope you liked these two parts of my videos. Uh, please uh, make these programs and goodbye from my side.